Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Far Cry 5 on the PlayStation 4 Pro Hard Mode. Now before we get into this uh, video, um, I've had to turn off the music in this game because as I predicted, there is quite a lot of uh, copyrighted music in this game, so uh, I've had to turn it off unfortunately. Obviously if you want to experience the music in this game yourself, just go and buy the game and play it. There are some very good tunes in this game, but because most of it is country music, I don't really know which ones are copyrighted and which ones are not copyrighted, so I keep having to deal with these random copyrighted claims. Plus later in the game, I know there is a song called Burn Baby Burn, and I know for a fact that that is a copyrighted song, so yeah. I've had to turn off the music in this game, which it will make the experience for me a little bit crappier and for you guys, but obviously I can't be dealing with loads and loads of copyright claims on my videos. So yeah, I've turned off the music for now, so if you don't hear any music in the game, uh, that is why, because I can't be dealing with those copyright claims. But yeah, um, what we're going to be doing today is, obviously in the last video, I was trying to do enough stuff so that we could trigger the next uh, kidnapping by John, which obviously doesn't sound like something you really want to trigger, but we do need to trigger it. <laughs> so um, as you can see, I've nearly got enough resistance points to reach the next dot. So uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to do like a random side quest or we're going to do a random story. Well, we ain't got any story quests at the moment. But we're going to do a random side mission or we're going to take over a random outpost or something. And then once we've done that, we should have earned enough resistance points for John to try and kidnap us again. And then probably for the rest of this video, we're going to have to deal with the whole escaping from John and stuff again. So that's probably what we're going to do in today's video. And in the next video, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go to Ryan Sun's Aviation and we're going to do a, uh, a, a story mission there, which will unlock a new companion for us. And then we are also going to do the Lamb of God Church mission, which will also again unlock a new um, unlock a new companion for us. That's what we will do in number two, and then um, video number two. And then hopefully by then I would have done enough to maybe confront John, but we'll have to see, because you do have to do quite a lot of work in this game to finally trigger the boss fight. So um, yeah, what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually head over to this silo, because I think if we break that, we would have earned enough points to maybe get John to come after us. I'm not sure. But we will fly over here and we will have a look. Whilst I was setting up all of my stuff, I uh, grabbed a helicopter and came over here. Hopefully I don't accidentally jump out of the helicopter again. <laughs> if, you, if you do jump out of the helicopter, you can either um, use your... Um, what's it called? Your uh, parachute or you can use your wingsuit if you've unlocked it so um if you do fall out of a helicopter you will be perfectly fine but when i jumped out of the helicopter like an absolute noob i forgot to um trigger my parachute because i was i was trying to land so i could destroy a silo and then i accidentally uh jumped out of the helicopter instead of descended you know and then i killed myself i don't know what part that was in it was one of the uh, earlier parts i think it was just after we took over fall's end maybe <laughs> oh dear lovely yeah, sorry for talking so much at the beginning of this video. I just had a few things I needed to mention. And I do apologise about the last video. Because um, I expected the next, um, like the next story mission to have been triggered a lot earlier than it was, you know. So I sort of got a little bit out of sorts not really knowing what to do, you know. Because I expected to be doing a story mission in that video. And instead I was running around doing like outposts and loads of like side missions and stuff. And I wasn't expecting it. So yeah, it sort of threw me off a little bit. Messed up my commentary. It was a little bit, it was a, it was all right near the end of that video, I guess, because we did get to fight some demonic mooses, so that was all right, I suppose. You have to be careful on this farm, because there always seems to be a couple of dudes patrolling it. Actually, there might be an outpost near here that we can take down. If there is, that will be very beneficial, because it should give me enough resistance points to uh, carry on with the story stuff. That's why you want to make sure you do stuff like take down silos and obviously there's different things in each area. Like for example, in this area you've got silos. In the next area you've got like these weird like churchy, druggy like factory things that you blow up. And then I think there's another different thing up in the north area. So yeah, you do want to um, break these things because they do help towards the story missions and stuff. Because if you're just running around focusing on story missions and skipping everything else, you're not really going to trigger the boss fight and you're not going to finish the game. So... You do have to do some of this optional stuff. Because it isn't really optional. <laughs> you do have to do it. Oh, damn. I'm not oh, damn. Oh, okay, we've got some grenades. 
Hope I don't blow myself up. That always happens. There we go. Is that enough? Oh, come on. Oh, hang on. Here, if we do this... I think there's prisoners in the back of these trucks. Oh, crap. I threw a knife at it. Yeah, we ain't going to be able to catch that. <laughs> That's why you want to make sure you've always got a car nearby. But I think I've spent most of this playthrough on foot. I always seem to do it. I always seem to play this Far Cry. I think I think what's done it is because when I was playing... um, When I was playing... If we head over here, I think there might be some sort of outpost or something. So I'm going to head off in this direction. But when I was playing um, Far Cry Primal, you generally don't really have any transport. You can unlock a talent that allows you to ride your cat, if I remember correctly, a saber tooth, and also mammoths, but generally I spent most of that game running on foot, so I think I've just gotten into the habit now. So. This must be... Uh oh there's a... Uh... There's a armoured dude over there. These are the worst guys to fight. Oh, got a headshot on him. Yeah, but the armoured dudes are the worst guys to fight. You can shoot off their helmets and then their hats, sort of like an Uncharted, and they will die straight away, but... Now, Boomer, I don't recommend doing that. Oh, that's good. If we take down... Oh, crap, I've got one of these. If we take down this guy... What's going on? Why the flipping hell... Am I not hitting him? I think Boomer might have got knocked down. Okay, we knocked him down. He set fire to the place, though. But if you kill these, like, cult leaders or whatever they're called, then uh, you get 50 points. So we might actually get enough points. There we go. Is that enough? That should be enough. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I'm not sure why I've even got this weapon. I don't even want it, really. I'd rather have a bazooka. You definitely want to keep a bazooka with you, with you in this game. Because, um... The bazooka... Oh, here we go. There's another one. The bazooka uh, is very useful for taking down, like, the helicopters and stuff like that. And also, one shot of the bazooka will take Dan. Am I in the right area? Yeah, I am. I thought, I thought maybe I'd gone into, like, Faith's area or something. Are they dancing? Are they having a little boogie? Oh, sweet. Oh, we did it. Oh, cool. See, look. John has uh, asked the Chosen to take you down. Okay, so um, we're pretty much now, once again, we're going to be taken down by John. And he's going to use that, you know, those bliss bullets that he used on us uh, last time. He's going to do that again. And we can actually continue with the story now. So uh, we've finally done it. After a video and a half, we've finally done it. We just have to wait for the helicopter to appear now, I guess. Preferably, I would rather have gone there with some better weapons. Because um, <laughs> I'm rocking some terrible weapons at the moment. I don't hear any... Uh, oh, shit. There's an angry ball. I don't hear any helicopters yet, so we might be all right at the moment. I love the pistol. The handling of the pistol is just so much better. Come on, ball. Pack it in. There we go. Lovely. I don't think I've uh, mentioned this. I might have mentioned it, but if you want to get yourself a cheeky trophy, you can actually beat one of these guys up. Oh, oh, here we go. Yep, here we go. That's going to shoot me with bliss bullets now, I think. But you can beat one of these up with your fists and you get a trophy for it. I've not done it yet because I've been playing on hard, so it's a lot more difficult. Are you the one that's going to shoot me with bliss bullets? I've got no idea. 
Oh crap. Oh god. Oh god. Oh sh <laughs> I got killed by a tratter. <laughs> Fucking hell. Come on, boom. Oh, good boy, boomer. Oh crap. Look at that idiot. Doesn't even see the dog reviving me. Yeah, how'd you like that? Where'd that plane go? What's what's going on then? I need I need to um I need this mission to trigger because I can't really do anything else until that happens, really. I suppose I could do some other missions, but if you if you start running off doing other missions now, nah, then uh, halfway through the mission he's gonna just bliss bomb you anyway, so I think you have to hunt these eagles for a challenge, so shoot some of them down if you can. Okay, well, John's not really doing anything at the moment. Let me have a look if there's any, like, thing in the story journal. No, because it isn't really a proper mission. It just means that he's going to be coming for me. I think what we're going to do, we're going to head over in this direction. I can't remember where it is, but I know there is... Um, he's going to ask me to reclaim his plane. And uh, if you go to one of the outposts in this area, it might actually be this one, to be honest. Could be around here somewhere. But if you go directly to the outpost, you could take over it and then you can grab his plane without having to waste your time going here first. Uh, let me have a look. This is the testy festy mission where he wants me to go pick up his stuff. I suppose we could go do this for now. Let's just go and let's go and do this for now. Where's my helicopter? It's going to be another one of those videos where everything just goes to hell because John won't actually, like, come for me. <laughs> it's a lot easier in the Faith area, like the next area we're going to go to. It's a lot easier over there. Because things just, they just work right. Everything seems to flow better over there. Over here, it seems to be a bit more of a pain in the butt. But I do prefer this area because it's a little bit less uh, diseased and dodgy like the next area we're going to go to. Very, very bliss heavy in the next one. This one's more a religious-y sort of area. The next area is more like a druggy sort of area. And the third area is a bit more military-ish sort of. So, a bit, a bit of everything, really. Come on, come on, come on. You can see one of the silos I've broken down there. I mean, this will give us some, uh, re um, some resistance points, you know. So, it is worth doing this. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Have I, am I just picking up the balls or have got, have I got to get the balls myself? Oh, there's a silo over there for us to break. Gotta love a good uh, helicopter in these games. It would have been nice in Far Cry Primal if you could have like rode a, uh, a pterodactyl or something. That would have been nice. I can see someone shoot. Oh, we did this last time, didn't we? Didn't we come here last time and we couldn't talk to him, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and speak to him and hopefully he actually speaks to us this time. <laughs> yeah, because he wouldn't stop shooting, would he? I forgot about this. Oh, finally. These damn vultures gobbled up the key to my barn. Look, it's a long story. Let's just say I was uh, indisposed. You got to help me. I'm a lousy shot when it comes to moving targets. Shoot down those vultures. One of them has to have the key. Oh, for God's sake. I'm, I'm a lousy shot with moving targets as well. What's all this? Oh, at least he gave us some... Uh... Oh, mustard. At least he gave us some bullets, I guess. Right. Um, I, I did not come prepared for this. Oh, look. They, a few of them are sitting down. So that's, that's good, isn't it? Is it sitting down? I can't actually... I think it's having a nibble on something. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, we hit that one. I mean, it's, it's not going to be the first one, is it? It's always going to be the third one. <laughs> You're never going to get the key from the first one. I could be wrong, though. Oh, oh I was wrong. <laughs> well, there you go. That was piss easy, wasn't it? I like how he said he was distracted. He was probably having a wank, wasn't he? Listen, the trailer's already hooked up to my truck inside the barn. I'll let Casey know you're on your way. And uh, let's keep this little incident to ourselves. Yeah? Thanks, Deputy. No, I'm going to tell everybody that you were masturbating instead of um, doing your duty and protecting the balls. You were looking after your own balls instead of looking after... Uh... Oh. There we go. 
Lovely. I'm going to assume that it's not going to be this easy, and then we're going to like start getting attacked on the way uh, to the... Well, I think we've got to go to Fall's End, didn't we? Yeah, so we're just going to get attacked a bunch of times. Just having a look around for some uh, supplies, because we don't have much supplies left to build bo to bombs and stuff. Are you coming with me? I hope you're coming with me, because if you can help me out with uh, the baddies that are inevitably going to attack me, that would be nice. Oh no, we have to go around this side, don't we? It's American. Nope, it is this side, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting my left and right. <laughs> I'm a bit on edge at the moment, because I know in a minute I'm going to get shot at by John. <laughs> well, not by John, but by his goons. They're going to start coming after me, so I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit distracted now. Oh, that's typical. We actually need one of those. We have to steal two of those and take them back to Fall's End for a, uh, well, it's for a story mission, I think, but it's one of those story missions where you don't actually get any kind of indication where to go, so it's a bit of a pain. I'm just going to blow it up if I can. They're normally pretty easy to break. I don't really want to do all this at the moment. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. Go that way. Yeah, go that way. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, crap. What's going on? I wish there was a duck down button in this game. <laughs> hope they don't chase me in the cars because there's a trailer on the back and I don't know if it can be like disconnected from the truck. So if they ram me, I might lose it and then we're, we're screwed. Maybe once I've done this, uh, John will finally come for me. It seems very weird that I'm just begging for John to kidnap me. It's just once that happens, then you get some more missions to do, you know? And you also get a lot of reputation stuff after doing that mission as well. Because I feel like I've not really done nothing in this video. Again, this is like the second video <laughs> where we ain't really... We've done some stuff, you know. It's been fun, I guess, but we ain't done too much. I don't think this mark is even leading me to the right place. No, it just, fortunately, it was sort of the right area. <laughs> Good job I noticed that. We're parking in the same place as the Widowmaker. Yeah. I'm just going to stand here a minute, just so I can use this as a thumbnail. <laughs> Testicle festival. Festival. What the hell am I saying? You've had your fun. But all sinners must confess this is the will of the Father. My men are coming for you. I'll see you soon. Oh, finally, John. Finally. Finally! There we go, you've been marked. Finally. Only took you about, like, what? Uh, this video and the last video. So it took you, like, pretty much an hour to come for me, John, you absolute pussy. Where are you? Come on. Come at me, bruh. Because when a chopper appears, that's when you know you're going to get blissed. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. They're probably coming for me right now. God, boom, I chased the damn cow. You don't need to wait for my orders, mate. Do it. Oh, go on, my son. I feel so bad doing this. <laughs> it's only a game, but for some reason I just feel bad. All right, all right, all right. Leave Boomer alone. Finally, flipping hell. Loot four. What are you talking about? Just gotta wait for the helicopter to appear now. I think I can hear it. Oh no, it's just a random angry dude. Oh crap, I just shot you, Boomer, you stupid dog. So I. I, I... <laughs> 
Is he coming for me or what? Where are you, boy? That feel good, mate. Civilian rescued. Oh, okay. There wasn't actually anybody in it, but, you know, whatever. That didn't go very well, did it? Hmm. Interesting. It says there's a silo up here. Apparently. Let's have a look. No, here it is. Oh. Oh, it's one of the trucks. Oh, why is it coming that? Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, finally. Right near the end of the video. Typical. What did it have to happen now for? Well, we can do some of this today, but the brunt of this is going to be done in the next video. Sorry about this, Wolf Morpher. I'm seeming to be very unlucky with this playthrough so far. Started off brilliantly, but it's gone to hell these last two videos. Yeah, that is not the will of the Father. Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. My parents were the first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground and I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. After pain. And when I didn't think I could take any more, did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared. I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. <laughs> opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking. The best gift isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. Giving. Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. <sighs> My God, that's courage. <laughs> I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes so you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can 
to go first. Hmm? Which one? Hmm? Yes. Yes! You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Now, before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private, after all. Shh, 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 shh. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you and pour your worst fears inside. And as you choke, your sins will reveal themselves. Only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> the reason I said yes was because he said who wants to go first with, like, all the torturing and stuff. So I said yes so I could help out Officer Hudson. The uh, woman who was there. She's the one we also need to save. Because each area has one prisoner from the beginning of the game. And also one leader, you know. So, obviously, this area's got uh, Hudson. The Marshall guy, I think, is in Faith's area. And I think um, the other guy is at the uh, top area in the north. The military sort of area. Right, I'm going to try and break out of my chair I'm currently in. And then once we've done this, I'm going to have to end it for today. I do apologise about this video. I thought we were going to do this at the beginning. You know, I thought I was going to be chased pretty soon. But it took a while for John to come for me. Here we go. I'm going to break my own legs now. And my, probably my hips, you know. Everything's broken now. But, you know, who cares? <laughs> who cares? It's, it's a very risky thing to do that, you know, because you either throw yourself down a load of metal stairs and you uh, hurt yourself but break yourself free. Or you throw yourself down a set of stairs and you break your arm or your neck or something and then you're still in a very bad situation because you didn't get the ropes off. So, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a bit of a muddled one again. Next time it should be fine. The next video should be fine. Should be good from now on. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!